you know, I may hate Trump, but I got to give him credit where credit is due. I mean, one thing, he's been having tons of press briefings. Some of them are like an hour and a half long. He's answering tons of questions. He's under a lot of pressure. He doesn't always answer the questions in decent ways. I mean, there's that time where a reporter had said to him and asked him, you know, hey, there's a lot of people who are scared right now. What advice do you have for them? And he goes, oh, you're a terrible reporter. That was a nasty question and goes on this rant on him. But, you know, for the most part, he's been trying to answer the questions. Maybe not to everyone's standards, but, you know, at least he's making an attempt there. There's the Defense Production Act, where he's vowed to, I don't know, make uh, have the U.S. make 100,000 ventilators. You know, hey, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, he should have done this a while back. He he said he was going to do something with a, the Defense Production Act, but he, he just took a very long time to do it. Um, again, he should have done it earlier, but at least on, with enough pressure, he does the right thing, you know. Now, there are some things that he's done recently. Uh, I think he did this yesterday, technically yesterday. I'd, I'd say earlier today, but I my sleep schedule is kind of weird. He, he told Pence not to call the governors of Washington and Montana because they don't appreciate him enough. They don't appreciate what Trump has done enough. He's like, well, if they don't, if they don't treat you well, don't call them. It's just like, well, at least, at least he knows that Pence is going to call them anyway. But just the fact that Trump made it important to verbally state it and, and for media to hear that uh, he doesn't want Pence to call those states because, you know, they're, they're not respecting Trump enough. It's just like, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Trump expects all this praise all the time, you know. Trump thinks that uh, he's the best president ever and he has the best answers and the... He, he has the best responses, uh, 10 out of 10, and, and if you disagree, then then you just don't understand, or you're, you're stupid, or you're a nasty person, or you want America to fail, or whatever, right? You know, I, I'm not a fan of how Trump is that way. He's so narcissistic, but whatever, you know, I got to give him credit where credit is due. At least he seems to try to do the right thing when he's under, the, under enough pressure. Anyway...